618 on LEX 18 News at Sunrise. Lee Cruz, finally, he is live this morning in Nicholasville. Are you finally there, Lee Cruz? Oh, good. There. You, oh, now, can we hear you, though? We see you. Yeah, you can. Now we sure you can. Yeah, yeah you can hear me. Um, we're at the Springhouse Gardens, which is just a beautiful, uh, exotic, I guess is a word we could use, uh, lush landscape that uh, was an old, uh, Richard, this is Richard Weber. Good morning, Hey, buddy. good morning. How you doing? He was good to see you. Was, this was an old tobacco field. That's right. 17 um, years ago. Yeah. Just an old rundown, abandoned tobacco farm, and we tried to turned into a beautiful garden. And, and I want you to look at uh, that tree right there, Steve Collier, to just pan up. Look, that, was, that wasn't that was even here, right? No, yeah, we planted all these trees. Wow. And that's one of the things that's really cool about our property is that you can come out here and actually see how trees grow and, and yeah. shrubs and all sorts of things here in central Kentucky. And we can tell you how long they've been here. You know, it's anywhere from, it's at least, uh, it's sometime before 17 years. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, now, so a lot of these trees look like they've been here for centuries, you know. There's a lot of things <laughs> that we wanted to showcase. Uh, we, come over here, Richard, because yeah. I, I know there's, as we well, go into the fall season, you want to showcase a couple of things real quick. Yeah, I mean, it's time to start uh, changing out your flowers and things. So we just got a nice uh, uh, selection of mums, yeah. uh, ornamental kale, which is kind of cool. It's actually, some of it, though, you can eat. You can yeah. cook and eat it, which is kind of cool. We got a bunch of pansies. Uh, uh, Rudbeckias, this tiger eye Rudbeckia is really, really cool right now. Uh, so it's just time to j kind of jazz up. You know, it's, this has been a hot uh, spring and summer, so it's time to start feeling like it's fall. And it doesn't necessarily, just because it's fall doesn't mean you can't have color. And that's what the moms and that's all these right. other flowers are providing. And, and what people, we're talking to a lot of people these days, and we do a lot of landscaping as well. And a lot of people lost trees, shrubs, all sorts of things during the drought, yeah. and they just couldn't keep things watered enough. So the fall is a great time to plant trees, shrubs, redo your land landscape kind of jazz things up uh, so it's a great time for that and we're going to show you more what they got here at the springhouse gardens again which is located right off of uh, 68 as you're heading towards uh well wilmore, wilmore i guess yep. yeah you can't miss it they got signs you'll see it always kind more of a, in a bit chris all right always kind of a little bummer though think about changing out your flowers because then the realization's there that summer's over it's done you know that's a i feel like we're going to start singing the lion king yeah. <laughs> circle of life Thank you very much.